Hi everyone, I have a question for you today. So we're going to start talking about skip counting and counting by groups of numbers. Our first question is asking us, there are eight children on the playground. How many hands are there? Let me repeat that question. There are eight children on the playground. How many hands are there? Hmm, to figure that out, I thought I would draw a picture of eight children. So we have eight children on the playground and we have to figure out how many hands there are. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a hand on each child. I'll just draw a circle for their hands so that it takes less time. And each red circle is going to represent one hand. So how many hands do we each have? Two hands. One, two, 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 and one, two. Now I can solve this problem by doing what? By counting the hands. So let's solve it. Eight children, how many hands? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 16 hands. There are two hands on each child, 16 hands in all. Now that's not the only way I can solve this problem. Another thing that I can do that's actually a lot faster than drawing all of those hands and counting all of them is I can skip count by two. I know that each person has two hands, so I'm counting by groups of two. Let's practice skip counting. Each time I point to a person, I'm going to count two for two hands. So instead of one, two, three, four, I'll just do two, four. Let's skip count together to see if we get the same answer. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Much faster, right? 16 hands in eight children at the playground. I have a challenge for you. Let's try doing something called hands at home. I want you to think about how many people are in your family or how many people you live with. You can draw your family members and you can draw the hands on them and try to figure out how many hands are there at your house. Are there 16 hands? Are there 10 hands? Are there four hands? How many hands do you have in your home? Everyone's going to get different answers because everyone has a different number of people that you live with. So try that out on your own and see if you can figure out how many hands do you have at home.